Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy the show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X. We touched upon this whole NATO thing during our Halloween live show, but we really want to talk about it today because it was just the most baffling thing, especially for me who actually follows politics, especially foreign policy. I don't know what the hell... <laughs> He is doing talking to NATO. Now, those of you who don't know, NATO is the North American Treaty Organization, and it was started after World War II mm -hmm. during the Cold War for uh, the European countries to come together and uh, build allyship against the Russians. Now, when it comes to NATO, it can be controversial depending on how you think about the war and the world and if America should be the world police. And lately it's had a lot of talk because of uh, all the involvement going on with sending bombs to Ukraine. And then you've got Trump saying we need to defund NATO. So a lot is going on right now in regards to NATO. So you imagine how stunned we were to see Harry even involved in any NATO. Like they should be worried about other stuff. Like, why are they even giving him a, a chance to speak is well, what I'm I mean, confused I about. Get, NATO does and has said in the past that they do support Invictus. So I understand why Harry was there in theory. I just don't know why Invictus had him be the face of it. Yeah, I it know other strange. people spoke. But Harry doing it was just like, it really did draw attention to the to the insane it situation. It seemed like a waste of time. A lot yeah. of people were saying, well, it's an old picture. It's an old thing. No, NATO actually put it on their website. And I want to thank everybody for sending us this. There is the date right there, October 30th, 2024. But again, there was very little press. Probably no press. Yeah. They did, they did announce it. They put it on their website. But if there weren't people that were looking for it, yeah. we would have never seen it. That's why I want to get into the picture, because was it planned? Was it staged? Everything that was behind him? <laughs> yes. Was it a green screen? What the hell is going on? On 30th, October 2024, the Invictus Games Foundation briefed the NATO military committee at NATO headquarters on the role of Invictus in supporting wounded, injured, and sick service members and veterans. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, addressed the military committee via VTC with a delegation attending the meeting in person. So there were people there in person. Yeah. So why would they get Harry to show up? And look at the delegation included Dominic Reed yeah. and Lord Allen. Chancellor of the Board of Trustees, Richard Smith, you know, the usual suspects. The delegation briefed the military committee on the brief and development of the Invictus program and the progress it is making to expand the scope of its mission. Bunch of word salad. It's just like, okay. Bunch of word salad. The core purpose of Invictus is to support the recovery and rehabilitation of wounded, injured six service members through sport and adventure. I'm glad they said that because in my mind, the point of Invictus is to uplift Meghan Markle and give her a huge platform. Showcase Meghan Markle's yeah, legs. I'm glad they put that in there. <laughs> the Invictus Games Foundation is working to continue establishing a global community. See, that always freaks me out when they say things like that where rehabilitation and recovery are better enabled and understood. This is primarily through the delivery of the Invictus Games taking place in different host cities every two years around the globe, but also through a multi-layered program beyond the game, which aims to build a network amongst global wounded, injured, and sick veterans and promote advocacy of Invictus. It makes a little bit of sense that Invictus would go to NATO in this way because NATO has billions of dollars, obviously. If some like charity, let's say, is, I don't know, losing money, 
<laughs> not bringing in as, as many sponsors yeah. as they usually do, not bringing in the celebrities that they usually do, the royals, maybe going to NATO is a good thing. But because how do they have the access? That's what because I want to know. NATO has always supported Invictus when, when it was part of the royal family. Yeah, but it's like that thing where, you know, we're always going to question anybody who's associated with Harry and Meghan, just like right. every time the Kardashians, they would highlight an orphanage or what was that uh, guy that had that kid? The Watts Center. The Watts Center. Oh. We always knew there Justin was something. Justin Mayo. Yeah, there, we always knew there was something shady behind it because it had to do with the Kardashians and they're shady. So anytime Harry is involved, now it puts a spotlight on NATO going, whoa, whoa. What is going on now? Why is NATO giving this guy an audience? I I'm just, sorry, it bothers it me. It bothers me too, but I think we can just go it's down. It's our tax dollars. But I think it is part of the not having a lot of money issue, not having a lot of support. Well, we'll go to NATO because NATO's <laughs> always supported us in the past. Yeah. NATO is a very big supporter of the monarchy. So let's just go to them. Don't bring Megan, though. Yeah. Don't bring Megan. It's, it's just strange. So here is the picture that NATO put on their website. Now, a lot of you, including me, were saying how funny this picture was because uh, it looked like nobody was listening to him or looking at him <laughs> as he was talking. Now, I believe there was probably two screens in the Yeah, room. the second screen probably had the Chiefs game on probably, it. Probably. <laughs> I'm sure it did. But again, it does make me extremely nervous whenever Harry is involved with U.S. tax dollars. So a lot of you noticed something which was obvious. And I ran the picture through this program that kind of like sharpens everything because I really want to see Harry's face. I want to see what he looked like because we haven't seen him in a while. We haven't seen him since South Africa. So, you know, where's Harry? What's he been? <laughs> up to. So this is a crisper version of his face. We'll get to the hair in a second. He looks just vacant. Mm -hmm. He looks defeated. You can see the pay for play awards that they've won before in the past in the background. They paid for. <laughs> yeah, like it's all back there. No pictures of the kids or anything, you know, not, not like we would expect that. But he definitely looks just he looks terrible. He looks there. dead inside. He looks dead inside. His eyes are dead. Now, Stephanie had a really good theory on why he looks like he has more hair. And I got to go with you it's on this. This is great theory. I, a lot of people have this theory. I believe he got hair plugs and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I remember when Perez Hilton did it and I followed Perez's journey, his video blog through all of it. And it does require some downtime. You can't just walk out of the office uh, once they poke your head with those needles and think you're going to recover in the next day. So we probably haven't seen them for that reason. I mean, come on. Allegedly, and I believe this too, Harry from South Africa got hair plugs. Maybe in South Africa. <laughs> I don't know. But um, got the hair plugs and then took some downtime. Yes, yeah. I agree with you on that. It's going to be hard for him to come out then in public, his next public appearance, not on like a screen like this, because people will notice. They will say those are plugs. Well, did you see the answers to Family Feud last night? I did. Hey, hey, front and center. We saw it. Balding. Balding. <laughs> I love that. What, what is Prince Harry known for? Balding. Balding. I wanted to sh actually show you the whole thing, but um, we can't because it's copywritten. But well, we can show the video. The first yeah. answer was uh, married to Megan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this guy's legacy. Married to Megan. Balding. Balding. That's it. Well, That's it. There was, there was more, but you know. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, one was redhead. Someone said hottie. Ooh. This is ridiculous. Yeah. I, I mean, you would think like, I mean, if you think of Prince William, like on Family Feud, you the first one would be Prince of Wales. Yeah. He's the prince. Yes. He's going to be the, few. I say future king. Yes. Se yes. Sexy. Sexiest man alive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say Meghan Markle's husband. Crazy. Another thing that we noticed on the shelf, there was a paparazzi picture that was taken from their wedding day framed in the background, but somebody had placed one of their pay to play awards in front of Harry, just so you could see Megan's face, whether it's a paparazzi picture or a Royal photographer, it doesn't matter. It's still an odd picture to have framed up in your, your office, office, your home office. Yeah. And absolutely no, just kind of pictures. I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to be like, 
the queen where she was meticulous about putting all her pictures and you know i know that's what megan's trying hey. to do i don't think he has anything to do with it don't compare him to the queen exactly okay that's like Beatles and Jesus comparison. Other thing people were saying is, is it a green screen? Is he still at the center of hair plugs Very for men? Well can be. And he's still recuperating. Or does he want people to think that he's in the home office of his home? That's what, yeah. Is with it a Megan, green screen? With Megan. Is I mean, because listen, let's be real. If he's talking to NATO and then that picture gets sent out to the world, you think for a second that if he doesn't have himself placed in uh comfy california or wherever he is culver city with pictures of his wife back there you think the world is not going to speculate that they are going through a separation but what an odd picture he wanted have. people to sh he doesn't want people to speculate it's a so it could picture. be it could be a green screen he could be in the uk and he wanted people to think he was there. It could be anything. There are so many theories out there. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? I think it's, I, th I really think your idea of the hair, I think your theory of the hair plugs, I gotta There's go with There's nothing wrong it with makes, plastic surgery. It just makes sense. Guys do it, women do it. It, makes it doesn't, sense. you know, my, my dog had braces. Dogs do it. Yeah. My dog did have cosmetic surgery done to yeah. her teeth. And then people in the chat a couple days ago were saying, well, do you think Megan pushed him to do it? Yes. I don't think she necessarily pushed him to do it, but I think he probably said, should I do it? And she was probably like, let me drive you. Like, I don't think she was like, no, honey, you should oh, age the hair gracefully. Plugs. Yeah. Oh, you meant NATO. No. Oh, no. I was like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I think, I think he's got bad karma for talking about his brother, for calling William, you know, he's losing his hair. Alarming or, baldness. Alarming baldness. And now karma just bit him in the arse. Yeah. That's what I think. The way he's balding is yeah. so odd. Yeah. And, and Friar Tuck-like. And that's why it she just, just looks so He weird. wanted to get it taken care of. So he thinks people are going to stop talking about yes. it. Well, you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Buckle up, buddy. <laughs> you shouldn't have you shouldn't spoke about your brother that way. You shouldn't have. You don't talk negatively about your brother family in a public forum yeah never go against the family <laughs> today's animal rescue is happy go lucky mastiff rescue we mentioned them a couple days ago but i'd really like us to focus on them today as well they it, this was sad for me to hear because they do so much good they take a lot of animals out of the high kill shelters they take them off death row they put them in foster care mm -hmm. and they you know, they're all volunteer based. So we're going to put their link in the description below. Please go check them out. Give them some love if you can. Also share them with friends and family and tell them about the amazing work they are doing over there. Happy Go Lucky Mastiff Rescue. And if you guys donate to any animal charity today, you should put it in Peanut's name. Oh, Peanut the Squirrel and uh, Fred the Raccoon. Yes, I, I just gave some money and I put it in honor of Peanut. So uh, we should all do the same. All right, yeah. guys. Well, uh, we love you and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.